Who are you? Okay, I'm a father who's pretty annoyed because he has to come in and talk to the principal. <laughs> and um, he's upset because he had to take time off work. His son's getting in trouble with a teacher and getting kicked out of the class. Thinks the teacher is the problem. So that's okay. basically it. And um, how old? Third grade. Third grade eight. Yeah, about eight. Okay, and give me like an inc incident or two that the kid has done that you're, you're in here complaining about, or what he's been kicked out of class for. He told the teacher to go to hell, and he was kicked out, and okay. went to the office kind of thing, and he's just constantly okay. with the teacher. Mr. Who? Mr. Jones. Okay. <laughs> well, hi, Mr. Jones. Well, hello. So, um... I, I, you know, first of all, I just want to say I don't appreciate having to take off work to be here. You know, if you guys had it together, I wouldn't have to be here. Um, you know, this is crap that now my boss knows that I have to come and see my kid at school. You know, he, what's he thinking? I'm not a good father? <laughs> I don't think it's my problem. I think you need to hire better teachers. Well, first of all, I, I appreciate that you are here and you did take time away from your job. Well, you know what? I mean... That doesn't help by not making money now. Are you going to pay me for that? You know, I, I don't know if you like being yelled at. I'm not trying to yell at you, but this is what happens to my kid. The teacher, you know, he doesn't like my kid. I don't know what it is. Well, let's put it this way. I mean, obviously there's a problem with the two of them. Yeah, there definitely is, and I want you to do something about it. Because my kid is the only one in the class. You know, there's a lot of Mexicans. He's not Mexican. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. Maybe I have to take him out and put him in another school. Well, I, I'd hate to see you do that. I would like to work it out with you. The, the part that I need to start with, though, is Billy basically, you know, told the teacher off and used profanity. Well, you know what? I don't blame him. If the teacher's on me, if that person was on me all the time, I mean, he has a right. He has a right to stand up for himself. He may have a right to stand up for himself, but in the school system, does he have a right to do it in any way that he wants to, or does he need to follow the normal rules? Well, you know what? If somebody comes up to me and, you know, it's just, I don't know. I, I don't know. I hear what you're saying, but my, my kid is not going to be picked on. That's all I'm saying. And if the teacher is singling him out, picking on him, what is a father supposed to do? I tell him, you know what? You do what you have to do. Okay, so the question is, has that advice been helpful to Billy? Has it been helpful to if Billy? It's getting him kicked out of the class. You're telling him say whatever he wants to to the teacher and do whatever he wants. Well, I, I, I don't know why the teacher isn't here. That's what I want to know because I have some words for him too. Because well, if he's going to have some words for my kid, I'm going to have some words for him. And, and first of all, the words that he's had with your son are just to say that's not acceptable and you can't be in the classroom when you talk that way. No, oh, that's not what my son says. Well, I understand that too, but, and you, you explained exactly why the teacher isn't here. Because I don't think at this point in time it's going to do any good for you and the teacher to sit here, for you to then get angry with him. He'll probably then either be hurt or angry with you and I'm not sure that that's in Billy's best interest. Well, are you going to talk with the teacher Absolutely. and tell him not to treat my son differently than the other kids in the class? Absolutely. But my experience is, and again, I will investigate this further, but my experience is, is 99% of the time, the parent is not getting the full story of what led up to the teacher intervening. Well, you know what? He comes home, he tells me things. I mean, he's not a perfect kid. Right. I have trouble with him at home. I know that. I sort of have a temper myself. But the thing is, you know, I... I Let's put it this yeah. way. What kind of an experience do you want for him here? Well, I want him to feel welcome. The, the teacher is just telling him, you know, you're not welcome here. You have to get out of the class. I want him to feel good coming to school. Okay, and, and I would be right there with you on that one. What else do you want for him? I... I want him to be able to learn, get a good education. Okay. So, when he creates little incidences in class and gets thrown out by mouthing off, does that help him learn? No. But you know what? I think he just picks on him. I mean, other kids say things, he, he doesn't do anything well, with them, it, but he picks on okay. him. Okay. And let's put it this way. If somebody's a troublemaker at your work, 
Does your boss watch him more? Yeah. Okay. That's kind of where I think the situation's gotten. And, and has Billy done, you know, super bad things? No. But the little stuff like he does at home, what does he do? Well, he, you know, he breaks windows and have neighbors come talk to me. He gets in fight. He's just a rough kid, you know. Yeah. He just plays around. He's right. a boy, you know. Okay, so he's a boy's boy. He gets into all that stuff. But what happens when it's in a classroom and a teacher's trying to teach? Now, and does Billy think he's causing trouble? No. But do you see how, to a teacher, he would be? Yeah, well, I mean, I understand yet. The teacher has a lot of other right. kids. and right. I mean, I talked to him, be good, but... The, the part that I think that, that, that I'm really concerned about that you brought up is if the teacher is in any way, and I, I may even go watch for a little bit, but the key that you said is I would like him to be welcome too. Even kids that cause problems should be welcomed in a classroom to me. Definitely. I mean, I didn't have that. You know, mm -hmm. I, I was, I, yeah, I want that for my son. I want things different. Right. But you, do you also understand that I won't condone him creating problems in class and telling the teacher off? I'll back the teacher on that every day. Yeah, no, I know. You have to do your job. I understand that. Okay. So how can we work together? We're both, we're both right on the same page with the welcoming thing. How else can we work together? And I don't mean punishing Billy or getting him in any more trouble because I don't think that getting him in trouble is how he's going to learn. So how can we convey a message to him and maybe how can I work with the teacher to convey a message to him that it's in his best interest to follow some rules without just threatening him and punishing him? Well, I think you need to go talk to the teacher, tell him to give him another, you know, don't write him off, give him a chance. If you keep with him, I mean, I know, I see you stick okay. with him. He'll come around. Okay, let's, okay, how about this? I'll do that with the teacher. Will you do that with Billy about the teacher? Give him another chance that when you do stuff, he's trying to teach and do his job. Sure, sure, I'll talk with him about okay. that. I hope you'll watch part two for the conclusion and processing. YouTube doesn't allow more than 10 minutes on a video, so I had to break this into two segments.